To give you a sense of how I might use extensions to accelerate my app development, let's walk through an app I created that provides full e-commerce functionality with the help of a few extensions. Introducing Kara's Coffee. Here's the Run Payments with Stripe extension. I specify my products and my customer collection in the configuration. This keeps my Firestore and Stripe data in sync for product SKUs and customer data. Because I have the Calculate Rates extension from ShipEngine installed, when I click this button, the extension automatically fires to calculate the shipping rate for that address. If my payment succeeds, the extension automatically creates a document in the payments collection. Here it is. I can even click in to get my label to print. Here's a list of some of the new extensions I used. There are many more available in the Firebase extensions library from services such as Google Pay, Twilio, and others. We want to make our users' experiences as smooth as possible. Once they place their coffee bean order on their iPhone, they will want to know when that order will arrive, no matter what Apple devices they are using. Thanks to Firestore codable support, fetching and mapping Firestore data become quick and easy. And because I'm using Swift UI, I can also bind the card items to my visual elements, making the development process even faster. Now I can apply the same code with all major Apple platform targets, like tvOS and macOS. With Crashlytics support for Apple platform, you will quickly identify any critical crashes and where they occur just by adding the Crashlytics SDK. You can even break down the crashes by Apple device type or operating system using the Firebase console. Today, we're excited to announce that Cloud Firestore is available for Unity and C++. Now you can add the power of Cloud Firestore to your game's backend in seconds and use it to store and sync your game data in near real time, add offline support, and scale your game experience to support thousands of players. We've made big improvements to the Crash Lakes NDK SDK. You'll now see a wider range of native crash types being reported and more in-depth stack traces to help debug and fix issues faster. These native crash enhancements have been extended to our SDK for Unity. We now show more symbolic gated C++ frames that can be tied back to your c -sharp code to help track down and fix root problems. We're also making it easy for you to use Flutter and Firebase together. With the latest release of DartPad, Flutter's online editor, you get support for Firebase out of the box. This means that all you need is a browser and you can start writing code with Flutter and Firebase right away. We're pleased to announce that you can now use AppCheck to protect access to Firestore. We've added custom server protections so you can use AppCheck with any custom backend resources and even integrate it with API management platforms like Apigee, and CDNs like Cloudflare. Finally, in addition to the key attestation providers we support today, we've added Apple's app attestation provider AppAttest and reCAPTCHA Enterprise to AppCheck. To help you meet these new standards, we're launching detailed documentation that states what data each Firebase product collects or shares. Our goal is to continue to build upon Google's privacy commitment and give you a head start to prepare for Google Play's new data safety section, which launches to users next year. These new performance alerts will send you an email when your app start time exceeds a given threshold so that you can investigate and fix the latency issues as soon as it appears. I'm thrilled to share that Crashlytics now reports ANRs and provides helpful information about impacted threads so that you can pinpoint the cause of the ANR faster. Signals analyze your crashes to uncover interesting commonalities and characteristics. Today we're launching with three signals, early crashes, repetitive crashes, and fresh issues. These two products go hand in hand in keeping users engaged. So today we're thrilled to unveil a redesigned console experience that brings them together. Now you can choose, configure, and deploy the optimal messaging strategy for different audiences from one place. 
we've completely redesigned the parameter edit flow to make it easier to understand and edit targeting conditions and make changes to default values. We've added data type support to provide visibility and data validation for your parameter values, reducing the risk of accidentally pushing a bad value to your users. We've also updated the change history to make it easier to see when and how your parameters were last changed, so you can easily correlate configuration changes to changes in app behavior. Personalization uses the power of Google's machine learning to select optimal experiences for your users. I'm going to personalize this parameter by clicking on this dropdown to add personalization. After about seven days, the personalization should be working at maximum effectiveness. Let's click on the personalization icon to open the results page. At the top of the page, I can see my personalization is outperforming my baseline by 13%. Awesome news! Considering the flexibility of remote config to control nearly any aspect of your app's behavior, the opportunities for personalization are nearly endless.